Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the Mission Bay Conference Center in downtown San Francisco at Node Summit 2017. The Cube's been coming here for a number of years. In fact, Ryan Dahl is one of our most popular interviews in the history of the show, uh, talking about Node and the community's growing, uh, the performance is going up, and there's a lot of good energy here. So we're excited to be here, and there's a lot of big companies that maybe you would or wouldn't expect be involved, and we're excited to have Gaurav Seth. He is the product manager for several things JavaScript. I think that's the first time we've ever had that title on. He's from Microsoft, uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, hey Jeff, nice to be here. Thanks for having me over. Absolutely, yes. so let's just jump right into it. What is Microsoft doing here in such a big way? So one of the things at Microsoft is like, I think we really are now you know, committed and uh, you know, we, we have the mo uh, mantra that we're trying to uh, follow, which is any app, any developer, any platform. Uh, you know, Node actually is a great growing community and we've been, you know, getting soaked more and more and trying to help the community and build the community and play along and contribute. And that's the reason that brings us here. Like, it's, it's great to see the energy, the passion when people around here. It's great to get those connections uh, going, have those conversations, hear from the customers as to what they really need, hear from developers about their needs, and then having, in, you know, a close set of collaboration with the core uh, community members to see how we can even evolve the project further. Right, right. And specifically on Azure, which is interesting. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been interesting to watch Microsoft really go full bore into cloud via Azure. I just right. talked to somebody the other day. I was talking about 365 uh -huh. being such a game changer in terms of you know, cloud implementations of big company. There was a report that came out about you know, the path to 20 billion. So right. clearly Microsoft is, is not only all in, but really right. successfully executing on that yeah, strategy, I mean, and you're a big piece of that. Yes, I mean, I think one of the big, big, big pieces really is, you know, as, as the, you know, the, the developer paradigms are changing, as the app paradigms are changing, you know, how do you really help make developers this transition to a cloud native world, right? right, right. Uh, how do you make sure that the app platforms, the underlying infrastructure, the cloud, the tools uh, you know, that developer use, how do you combine all of them and make sure that you know, you're making, and making it a much, ex much easier experience for developers right. to move on from their existing paradigms to these new cloud native paradigms. You know? uh, one of the things we've been doing on the Azure side of the house, and you know, especially when we look at Node.js, as a platform, you know, we've been working on making sure that Node.js has a great story across all the different compute models that we, uh, you know, support on Azure. Starting from like, hey, if you want to do serverless, uh, you know, functions, if you want to do pass, if you want to go the container way, if you want to just use VMs, and in fact, you know, we just uh, announced the uh, Azure Container Instances today. Right. So it's it's you know one of the work some of the work we are doing is really focused on making sure that the developer experiences as you migrate your workloads from old traditional monolithic apps are also kind of getting ready to move to this new cloud native era. Right, so it's an interesting uh, point of view for Microsoft because some people, again, people in the know already know, but a lot of people maybe don't know, mm -hmm. you know, kind of Microsoft's heritage in open source. We think, you know, I used to buy my Office right. CD and my, and my um, my uh, Outlook CD, but right. you know, it's different, especially as you guys go more heavily into cloud, you need right. to be more open to the various tools of the developer that, that's, community. That's absolutely true, and one of the focus areas for us really has been, you know, as we think through the cloud native transition, you know, what are the big pieces, the main open source tools, the frameworks that are available, and how do we provide great experiences for those on Azure, right? right? right. Because, uh, you know, at times people come with the notion that hey azure probably might just be good for .net or might just be good for windows but you know the 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 actual fact today is really that you know azure has great support story for linux Azure has great story for a lot of these open source tools, and we are continuing to grow our story in that perspective. Right. So we really want to you know, make sure that open source developers who come and work on our platform uh, are successful. And then specifically for Node, and you're actually on the board, right. um, so you've got a leadership position. Yep. When you look at Node.js within the ecosystem of open source projects and the growth that we keep hearing about yep. in the sessions, 
you know, how are you and you specifically and Microsoft generally kind of helping to guide the growth of this community and the development of this community as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Right, I think that's a great question. I think from, uh, you know, my perspective and also Microsoft's perspective, there are a bunch of things we are actually doing to engage with the community. So I'll kind of list down three or four things uh, that we are doing. I think the first and foremost is, you know, we are a participation a participant in the uh, Node.js Foundation. Right. You know, that's where like, hey, we kind of look at the administrative stuff. We are a sponsor, uh, you know, at the needed levels, etc. So that's just the initial monetary support. But then it gets to uh, really, you know, being a part of the Node Core Committee. Like, you know, as we work on some of the core pieces, as we evolve Node, you know, how can we actually bring uh, more perspectives, more more value uh, into the actual project. So that's, you know, we have a, uh, you know, many set of engineers who are right now working across different working groups with Node and helping evolve Node. You know, you might have heard about the uh, NAPI effort. Uh, you know, we're working with the diagnostics working group. We're working with the benchmarking working group and, you know, uh, bringing the thing. The third thing that we did a while back was, you know, we also did this integration of bringing uh, Chakra, which is the JavaScript runtime from Microsoft that powers uh, Microsoft Microsoft Edge, we made uh, Node work with Chakra because you know we wanted to bring the power of Node to this new platform called Windows IoT, right, and right. Uh, you know the existing uh, Node could not get there because of some of the platform limitations. So those are like some of the few examples that we've uh, you know and how we've been actually communicating and contributing. And then I think the biggest and the foremost for me really are the two pillars. Like when I think about Microsoft's contribution. It's really like, uh, you know, the big story or the, the big pivot for us is, you know, we, we kind of go create developer tools and help make developer lives easier by giving them the right set of tools to achieve what they want to achieve in less time, be more productive. Right, right. And the second thing is really like the cloud platforms as things are moving. I think across both of those areas, our focus really has been to make sure that Node as a language, Node as a platform, you know, has great, you know, first class experiences that we can help define. Right. Well, you guys are so fortunate. You have such a huge installed base of developers. Right. But, but again, traditionally, it wasn't necessarily cloud application developers, and, and that's been changing yep. over time. And, yep. and there's a, such a fierce competition for that guy yep. or gal who yep. wakes up in the morning, or not maybe the morning, at yep. 10, has yep. a cup of coffee, yep. and has to figure out what they're going to develop today. Right. And there's so many options, and right. it's a fierce competition. So you right. need to have an easy solution. You need to have a nice environment. You need to have everything that they want so they're coding on your stuff and not on somebody else's. That's that's true. I mean, I, I you know, somehow I kind of, uh, instead of calling it competition, I have started using this term cooperation uh, because uh, between a lot of the companies and vendors that we talk about, right? It's more about, for all of us, it's working together to grow the community. Right. It's working together to grow the pie. You know, with open source, it's not really one over the other. It's like the more players you have and the more players who engage with great ideas, I think better things come out of that. So it's all about that cooperation rather than right. competition. Well, I certainly around an open source project yes, here, exactly. and we see a lot of big names. Exactly. But I can tell you, I've been to a lot of big shows where they are desperately trying to right. attract right. the developer ecosystem. <laughs> yes. Come develop on yes. our platform. Yes. So you're you're in a fortunate spot. You started yes, I mean not the, from zero, but uh, but open source is different, and yes. it's an important ethos because it is much more community. Exactly. And people look exactly. at the name; they don't necessarily look at the title, exactly. or even the company yep. that people exactly. work for. Exactly. And I think uh, having more players involved also also means like it's going to be great for the developer ecosystem right because everybody is going to keep pushing for making it better and better right. so you know as we grow from you know a smaller stage to like hey there's actually a lot of enterprise adoption of these use case scenarios that you know people are coming up with etc it's always great to have more more parties involved and more people involved uh, Garof, right. thank you very yeah. much and uh, and again congratulations on your work here in node keep this community strong sure. looks like you guys are well on yeah. your way thanks jeff thanks All for right. your time Garof Take care. Seth, he's yeah. a Project lead, Microsoft. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from Node Summit 2017. Thanks for watching.